us about this book. Why did you choose now to write it? And and just a little bit of a gist of the flourishing family. Well, we wrote it now because this was the time God opened all the doors for it to happen. And when God uh, opens a door and shows you through it, you just keep on going. And so uh, <laughs> that's the when. The why is is different. The the why is because as young parents trying to you in the in the past trying to figure out what were we doing how are we raising these two busy boys that god gave to us and we found you know there's these books by christians that um have all this theology in them and some of it's really really good theology and but there's very little about the kids themselves and it's all anecdote. It's theology and anecdotes. And then we'd go to these other books that were full of, you know, brain science and understanding of child development and all of that. Uh, but none of these were written by Christians. And so we were trying to find something that brought those two kind of separate worlds together. And that was what we really. Uh, wanted to do in this book was to bring good theology and what we understand about child development and the internal workings of their brains together in a way that, you know, brings it all together and makes it easy for parents to understand the the kind of the big picture goals and the the minute day to day of, of how we try to parent these young children. Yeah, I know when we were at the beginning of our parenting journey um, with our own boys, there was, I was, there was such a disconnect between what I thought scripture taught about how to be a parent and about what, um, you know, the secular world was talking about how children develop and the best ways that they learn and um, really some of the most um, evidence-based ways to discipline and so day, I told David, I said, I, I told David, you know, one night just kind of talking as parents, I was like, I really want to read scripture without the lens of everything we've been told to find in it and see, you know, like we should see God's word and God's created world. There, there should be continuity. There should be harmony because he is the author of both. And if we can look a little more objectively at scripture I, I really wonder what we might find. And so our book, The Flourishing Family, tells a little bit of our story through that process. And then it, like David said, it it kind of introduces parents to just the beauty and the harmony that we find in what God's word teaches, especially through the lens of Jesus about how he taught us to treat others and how he valued um, children and those that he interacted with and how he discipled his, his own followers and what modern neuroscience is teaching about how humans flourish through relationship, through connection, um, and through attachment. And so that's, that's really the core of the book.